What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys so very much for all of your love and support. Yes, over 1,000 episodes, over half a million streams worldwide. I'm in so many countries. I just stopped taking charge of how many countries I'm in. You never know where I'm going to be at. All the downloads. I love it. So today we're talking with the owner and editor-in-chief of GPGT Magazine, the wonderful Valencia Thompson. Hey, Valencia. Hi. (laughs) How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm glad to be on the podcast today. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. So, Valencia, let our audience know, where are you from? Where do you represent? Okay. So, I actually was born and raised in Columbia, South Carolina, but I am a resident of the Metro Atlanta community, and I've been here for about 12 years. Okay. Cool, cool. So, what was the catalyst that started your magazine? Actually, and for some people who are not led by God, this might throw them off, but this magazine was not my idea. I actually, though I've been a writer my entire life, and I've been creative um, for most of that, I've been trying to be in the box of doing more conventional things, I would say. But literally, God told me to start this publication, Mm. and uh, I was listening kind of cross-eyed, like, you want me to do what? (laughs) (laughs) So um, when when I, and I'm a person... I've learned it's best for me to follow God's lead, and that's what I try my best to do in life. So it started in that way. It mm. started in that way. And I, um, I'll um, expound some on that, but I wanted to make sure that I don't take over what you might want to ask me. No, no, definitely. Um, I, I definitely want to jump into more on that and, and delve into it. And you say, you know, that was God-led. Was there a specific situation or a specific event that happened? So, um, it's interesting if you ask that question. I, all I know is that right when, okay, so I had a moment, I call my own burning bush experience. No, I didn't see the actual burning bush, but I felt God speaking to me more clearly than I've ever had at any other point in my life. And, you know, I sat down, I have, I have a prayer room in my home and I sat down and he was just calling out to me the different things, the different projects that he told me to do. One at that time, uh, was a production, a stage production. So um, amongst the different genres of writing, I'm also a playwright. Mm-hmm. And I was on a stage production for a few years for no good reason. And God was like, it's time for you to do that. And mm-hmm. while you're getting ready to do that, you're going to do a magazine. And this magazine is going to help you fund that production. So it kind of came like that. And the, the strangest thing for anybody who's ever done a project from scratch, uh, my publication did not pay for that first production. I think God was just trying to get me to move. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually had to be a bit more creative to get some funding to get that off the ground. But back to GPGT, as he placed it on my heart, at first I didn't know what it was about. But then he let me know that the target audience needed to be black women millennials. And at that time, I was still struggling about a target audience because um, uh, when I was younger, I'm that definitely that person. But I want to be for everybody. I want you know to be able to appeal to different people's interests from different backgrounds and different demographics. But anybody who is a business owner, entrepreneur in any setting, you first understand that you have to have a target audience if you intend to reach anybody and if you want to make money. <laughs> That's yeah. the bottom line. So um, that's the practical side of it. But the spiritual side, I, I had a brother, um, a spiritual brother in seminary who once said to me that if you reach the black woman, you actually can reach the entire family and the world. Mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty profound. I can't take credit for it, but um, I'm hanging on to that. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were in the early stages, what were some of the challenges that you were facing? The first challenge is how do you get people's attention? Mm-hmm. It's also, to be to be honest, again, because, you know, you talk to other people, it's always my lifelong dream to do this thing. Again, that's not my story. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I didn't even know it was possible to dream for it, I guess I would say. Right. So, in that vein, because, again, I don't take credit for the idea, I didn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. And anybody in relationship with God, the way that God works, is still gives you one step. And... You don't know what's after that until you do that one step. Mm-hmm. So that I, the hardest part for me was here I am trying to convince the world or at first a small community 
what it is that I'm trying to do, and I have to know what it is first from God. <laughs> so um, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting that you and I are talking now because I've been looking at my own evolution with this publication mm. and starting from, I think this is what you want for me. Okay, I don't know if that's it. I can't tell if people care. Um, I even went through a brief hiatus um, over the summer where I said I want to stop until I know what direction it's supposed to be going in. So I would say... And as you have to keep me uh, focused because I, I can tell I like to talk. <laughs> you got so it, because sure. well, we two people that like to talk, uh, so I'll see. <laughs> I know, right? I was like, they're going to put something back with these two journalists on this uh, call together. So um, the to refocus myself, you asked me about the challenges in the beginning, correct? Right. So that was it. So to give a one word, I would say just the definition, like defining. Mm. Defining was the greatest hurdle for me of who I was. Um... But, again, from a practical standpoint, also getting the advertisers to see the benefit in purchasing advertisement slots in this publication as well. Mm. So, especially because, you know, this is about numbers, mm-hmm. about volume. Oh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And we are still, we're definitely still in the growing phase. I don't have the thousands upon thousands. Um, but with refocusing and, and understanding a better way to do what I do, I think I am most recently coming out of that particular hurdle. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, you guys, so we're going to take a brief break. We come back, we're going to talk more with Valencia about GPGT Magazine and some proud moments and what sets her publication aside from all the others out there. All right, so you guys hang tight with me. We'll be right back. You spend one third of your life sleeping. Why not make it comfortable with Casper? Ash Brown here from Ash Said It Daily. Casper products are cleverly designed to mimic human curves, providing supportive comfort for all body types. When I'm touring around the world, there's always one important detail missing, my Casper bed. I can't wait to get home for a restful night's sleep. There's nothing like it. The experts at Casper work tirelessly to make a quality sleep surface that cradles your natural geometry in all the right places. The prices are affordable because Casper cuts out the middleman and sells directly to you. They're all designed, developed, and assembled right here in the U.S. Don't forget about Casper's 100-night risk-free sleep-on-it trial. Get $50 towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash ash and using ash, A-S-H, at checkout. Terms and conditions apply. Get your Casper mattress for a restful night. Visit casper.com slash ash, promo code A-S-H. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys so very much. We're talking with Miss CEO herself, Valencia Thompson, GPGT Magazine. What would you say sets your publication apart from all the rest? Hmm, great question. I know that, well, I'll be honest. I believe what sets my <laughs> publication apart is that while we, first of all, our model is that we believe that God uses great people, I mean, mm. excuse me, God uses good people, which are just regular, ordinary people to do great things. Mm. And what we strive to be is a publication that engages culture, like all the different things that are happening around us, this popular um, art, uh, what's going on in mainstream media, things that are exciting to millennials, but understanding that we can love God at the same time. Mm. So um, I'm always trying to balance, because what do we have? Um, and this is no offense. But we have some uh, faith-based publications, uh, and I'll speak specifically for Christian faith, and you have to try your hardest to not be seen as out of touch, Mm -hmm. uh, to say it more plainly, you can't look corny. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And also, just getting back to the people who are like me, right? Yeah. So if I think about what I like, what I'm interested in, and, and my best friends, like, we love God. Like, we're on fire for God. Okay, we can pray some things down, but we also engage culture. We like to have a good time. We like we want to know what Beyonce is doing from time to time. <laughs> we, you know, we want to know what movie's out. And mm-hmm. uh, so just making sure we appeal to that, but also there's an emphasis on the person that's not a super celebrity, right? Right. So if you know, if we're talking about people who um, in some ways could be classified as, you know, the regular person from next door, but they're doing some great things. And mm-hmm. if it were not for a publication like ours, they may not be known about to, to other people on the larger scale. So that's something that we're proud of. What would you say has been your proudest moment? My proudest 
testimony wow that wow you you sitting up there in the hospital and you wow that's that ain't, if that ain't god if that ain't god i don't know what that is i don't know people that say they don't believe in god I, if that ain't god mm, mm, have mercy <laughs> we have in church today all right um they didn't know they didn't know that they was going to church today. Y'all downloaded this show. And you had no idea this was going to be a spiritual service. Mm. You never know what you're going to get with Ash Center. You never know. You never know. All right. So moving forward, what can audiences expect from GPGT Magazine 2018 and beyond? Amen. So good people, great things magazine has something that we're just starting and it's actually working very well and it's caused a change and a shift in direction but I think that the readers who uh, have businesses churches and other nonprofits will be excited to hear this because this is an opportunity that anybody who is willing can participate in so mm. um, a new opportunity called GPGT Business 
And what we've done with our uh, with, this, with this opportunity is we have opened up a situation where we can partner with a business, a church or a nonprofit, as I mentioned, or any entity for that matter. We partner with them to create an issue specific for their organization. Mm-hmm. So I'll give an example. Currently, we're working with Nicole Nicole Vintage Boutique, and you can find them at NicoleNicole.com, and that's N-I-C-H-O-L-E first, so there's an H in that first, Nicole, and then regular Nicole after. But the point is that we are currently partnering with them to create a special Good People, Great Things magazine issue for them, Mm -hmm. and what does that mean? That means that they get to decide who is featured in the publication, they also get to decide who advertises, and because they recruit the advertisers, they actually get a percentage of... Mm -hmm that profit. And so um, that is open and that is available to anybody. So um, for example, if Ash said it, if you wanted a publication for you, you would would decide who's on the cover, you would decide who would be featured, and um, because you would secure the advertisers, you would also get a portion of those proceeds. And I'm not afraid to say it right now, we're actually offering half to our partners. And mm-hmm. as with most good things, that won't last long. Okay. But for anybody who's interested in taking advantage of that um, soon, then I definitely advise them to reach out to us to, to jump in on that. Yes, definitely. That sounds amazing. You don't hear of any publications doing that. I've not. That's the first. And then, and that's half. Y'all better jump on to this, right. okay? <laughs> Stop playing these children games. Last but certainly not least, Valencia. What advice can you offer to any person today that dreams of starting a magazine and, you know, life has happened for them and they think they can't do it? Mm, Come on, come on, come on. (laughs) All right. So for any call that you have, uh, whether it be starting a publication or doing something else, first of all, you're going to need to know that where where I believe we mess up uh, when we are of a certain mindset is that we believe that someone outside of ourselves and a call from God has to approve what we're doing mm. for us to take a step. Mm. We believe that we have to ask others for permission. We believe that if somebody else didn't like our style of creativity, then it's invalid. Mm-mm. And I've learned that that is not so. Okay. Um, you can actually do a disservice to yourself if you think that somebody, some whoever this great person is in your mind, and I'm going to take it home. You know, it could be your very own parent mm-hmm. who doesn't understand what you're doing. It could be somebody you look up to. It may even be an expert in the field that you're trying to go into. But what I know for sure is that we all have a different style. We have different personalities, and we're unique because that is how God made us. And so if you have something that is bursting in your heart, if you have a call that you're driven to pursue, then you need to do it. Um, also know... <laughs> that if you are called to something, that does not mean that the red carpet is going to be rolled out for you. Uh, for people who are faith-based, if God gave you a call, that does not mean that he's going to make it perfect. It's actually going to be a little bit harder for you. So uh, <laughs> so know that you're going to have to do the work. Um, I believe that's common. I believe that that's what we hear people say because it's true. Oh, yeah. um, I didn't see certain things birth. I didn't see certain things begin to progress once I gave it my all. Um, most Recently, a few seconds ago, I was thinking about my schedule for this, but I'm going to share this because this may bless somebody. Um, as a writer, I do things in different genres um, in addition to running Good People, Great Things. So I'm a ghostwriter, and I do several books for other people. I'm saying that to say um, I also have a family. You heard me mention my husband and my two children. I have two small children, three and 19 months. And the night before last, I didn't go to sleep because I had a writing deadline. And the, the day of, I had to be with my family. I had to do all these things for my family. And so literally at 5 a.m. when my husband came downstairs, I was down there because I was finishing up this writing deadline. By 6 a.m., I have to get my kids ready to leave the house with their dad. So I literally took a 40-minute nap, got up, and got everybody out of the house. And then I had to go on with my day because mm-hmm. I had to do a promotional video shoot for something else I'm doing um, right. that morning and other things on top of that, right? Because I didn't mm-hmm. go to bed until 8.30 p.m. Wow. last night after not going to sleep at all the night prior. Wow. And I was just thinking about the schedule. And, and as I told Ash before I got onto her to be on her here with her today, I literally just completed an interview for my own publication. Right. So it's going to take work. You're going to sacrifice sleep. 
Um, I heard Steve Harvey mention this recently. He said, you actually don't need as many hours of sleep as people say you need. You know, he's like, mm -hmm. if there are things that you want to accomplish in your life, you're going to lose some sleep to get it done. And I want y'all to know that I could, in my past life, I could nap with the, with the best of them, okay? I can nap, I can sleep, I can do all that. But God grew me up. Um, as a mom with little children, I have to wake up earlier. I have to sleep later. And that's what it takes. I'm laughing because I used to roll my eyes when I hear other people say this, but it is true. There is no magic pill. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's the grind that we don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's, that's why I do this show is to show people that, yes, we see people with success like yourself. They've got brands and publications and companies, but it didn't just fall out the sky. You got to put the pedal to the metal. You got to actually put in that work because otherwise, you know, sitting and hoping and dreaming and you can dream all day, but if you don't, God said, you know, um, a dream without work, that's dead. That's, that ain't nothing. You ain't going to do anything with that. So you, until you put in the work, that's, that's, you just going to sit on that dream. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, Pastor Valencia, um, <laughs> cause we gonna give you that, we gonna give you that title today. We was preaching today. All right. We, we, woo, the spirit just came through to us. Um, <laughs> but uh, on some real notes, um, let everyone know the best way to contact you and to get in contact with everything that you're doing and to follow your social. Um, if you want to email me directly because you want to take part in that GPGC business opportunity, please email us at info at goodpeoplegreatthings.co.co. Again, that's info at goodpeoplegreatthings.co. Uh, and I will directly see your message. Um, also, you can follow us on social media. On Instagram, we are at goodpeoplegreatthings. We are the same thing on Facebook and Twitter. We are GPGPATL. So, again, Instagram and Facebook is Good People, Great Things. And on Twitter, we are GPGPATL. Sounds like a plan. All right. Thank you so much, Valencia. Much more success to you, 2018 and beyond, of course. Keep pushing forward and keep making us proud. We love that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ash. This was definitely a pleasure. No problem. And thank you guys for downloading this show. I appreciate you so very much. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. And that's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys. <laughs>